several Studio Press themes have pricing tables. If you've bought a Studio Press theme, you can find this code in the setup section of your account. If someone set up the theme for you, the code might already be in place. To customise these tables, you have to open a text widget, carefully search through some basic HTML and replace the text that displays on screen without breaking the HTML. So here this is appearance, widgets and this is the it's a text widget that contains the HTML that makes this price table work. So appearance, widgets and that's in home section 4 on this theme which is Padillacs Pro and that's a text widget in home section 4 widget area and this code is the code that we need to edit. When you know some very basic HTML you can easily do this by simply reading through the code and changing the word. But if you don't want to sift through the HTML manually you can use Notepad to do the work for you. But before you make any changes please make sure you have backups that you can use if you break things. Even if you just copy this code, paste it into Notepad and save it somewhere at least you've got something to revert back to if you mess up the code. This is what the, um, the tables will look like. This is Padillax Pro pricing table, the Altitude Pro pricing table, Remobile Pro pricing table. Uh, Cafe Pro is not strictly speaking a pricing table but it's, it works in the same way and Centric Pro pricing table. And not all Studio Press themes have a pricing table. I'm showing you the ones that are currently available that do have pricing tables. So let's edit the pricing table in uh, this thing which is Padillacs Pro. Now first you want to go to your dashboard, you want to go to appearance, widgets and in this theme the pricing table is in home section for widget area and the text widget in that widget area. Now some themes have more than one text widget, There's some of them have got four text widgets in the pricing table. This one only has one text widget. Actually the more text widgets in there the easier, the, the easier it is to edit the code because all the code is in one big block here. So what I'm going to do, I've opened up the text widget now. First of all you see here that's the title here, This the pricing table title there is this here in the title box. Now your theme might or might not have anything in the title box. Sometimes the title is in heading tags down here. So you just have to see on your theme and see, see how it's done. So I'm just going to paste something else in there to make a, just to change the, uh, the title. Now I'm going to change this, but what I'm going to do with the content area, first of all I'll just save that and we'll see that it's changed. So save that, go back to our page here, this is going to change. Refresh the page and the main title is there. It's changed. Now we're going to change this paragraph here. So what we need to do, copy that. Oh, first of all, we're going to copy this stuff in this widget area. So we're back in the appearance widgets and this is a text widget that control the pricing table. So control A to copy all of it. Now I'm going to open up Notepad. I'm going to paste that text into Notepad. So now we've got all the code we need, but we need to change some of the text inside. Now the easiest way to do that, you can either carefully look through all this HTML and pick the bits that you need to change, but there's an easier way. If you go to the front page of your website and just copy the text you want to change. Now Notepad can only copy one line at a time. Now you can only paste it into the uh, fine box one line at a time. So just do, if there's more than one line, just do one line at a time. So this is, I'm going to change that, so I'm going to go back to Notepad and I want to go to Edit, Replace and I want to replace, I'm, well I'm going to find this and I'm going to change it for some new text. This is what I'm going to replace it with. So I'm going to look for uh, this text here and I'm going to replace it with that text there. And to do that, first of all, you've got to make sure that your cursor is right at the very beginning of, of Notepad there. And then click Replace, oh, find next, it's found it there, and then just click Replace. It's replaced it and it's telling you that there's only one instance of that. 
Now the text I've just changed is this here. So when we paste it back into WordPress, that will change. I want to change this now. So all I need to do is copy this text. And then I want to go back to Notepad. And I want to make sure that my cursor is up at the top of the page somewhere, up there. I'm now going to uh, find this and I'm going to replace it with some more text. So I'm going to replace it with that text there. So I find next and it's found it there. And I click the replace button and it's told me that this it's, it's replaced it there. So the next bit I want to change is this one. So I just copy, go back to notepad, paste that in there and I need to type something else in here. So I'm going to replace that with social media. So I click find next. I can't find it. Now, if you look carefully, it is actually there. It just hasn't found it. So if that happens, just make sure your cursor is above or at the top of the, put your cursor at the top of the page, then click find next and it's found it now. You need to cursor got to be at the top of the page. This is a real problem with Notepad, but that's the way it is. So now we've found it. If I click replace, it'll replace it with this social media, which is what I want to, to replace with. There we go. So now I want to replace this text here. And all we need to do is copy, same as before, Notepad. We're going to find what? That's what we're going to find. And I'm going to replace that with, I want to replace it with social, uh, with um, SEO packages, this one. So type that in there, click find next. It's found it there, click replace, and it's replaced it. Now I want to change what's in the list. So make sure you don't only um, copy the, the thing you want to change, which is that bit there, I want to change that one. So I'll copy that back to notepad find what I want to find that and I'm going to change it with type something in there right now the cursor is not at the top of the page anymore so we need to put the cursor up near the top of the page and then find next and it's found that first one there and I want to replace it with this so I just play, click replace see it's found the next one now so you just type something else in that box so this time I want to type in there MailChimp and I click replace and it's found the next one. Now the reason it's finding the next one each time is because there's several items with the same name. So if you look on here, we've got list item one, list item one, list item one. And because of that uh, notepad can actually guess that you want to find the, uh, the next one and it types it in there for you. So I want to change this one which is the third list item one I'm going to change that I'm going to change it for SEO plugins I'm going to replace that and that's it it's found all of the list item ones now you want to go through the entire document search for list item one list item two list item three and remember you've got th uh, three lots of list item two three lots of list item three and most of the um, pricing tables have got four in the middle and three at the sides so make sure you've uh, changed all of the text for all of the different sections and make sure you do the the button text as well so do the button it might appear as though you've not highlighted anything but when you drag over it here hover you can see you've actually highlighted that so just click copy go back to notepad we find this and then we're going to change it for buy now. And then click replace. And it's changed it to buy now. now. When you've been through the whole page, you've selected things, copied them, gone into notepad, found them, and then replaced them, you'll end up with all of the things change that you need changing here. Now I'm going to make another video showing you how to change the link in the buttons. But basically all you do, if you look for this little pound sign, 
and just paste in any web link there that one's Google web page um, that's all you need to do make sure you don't delete the little um, double quotes so you're looking for href equals and your link goes in between the double quotes and different work, different studio press themes will have different things in there usually it's a pound sign but it could be a web link or it could say sample or other things so now everything's everything's finished I need to copy this whole document so control A to copy everything control A then control C to copy and we need to go back to our appearance widgets this is the widget area that we've been dealing with so we need to highlight all of that control A to highlight it I'm going to clear out the old text paste in the text that we've edited and then I'm going to save it it's always a good idea to, to click this automatically add paragraphs here right now this is what we had before we had package 1 professional advanced and list item here so if we refresh the page we've now got our new uh, text in here we've got WP setup social media SEO packages and then we've got different things in here like MailChimp Twitter Facebook and if we click the link uh, that would take us to Google the reason it took us to Google is because that was the link that we pasted in when we was editing the code I've made a web page to go with this video and I'll put a link underneath this video on YouTube so that you can find the web page with all the details you need thanks for watching and bye for now